I wrote the songs for North Star Falling through 2014. And it was after I had my house broken into in April and a lot of my electronics were stolen, including my laptop and both of my backup drives, which meant that about 50 or 60 songs that I'd already written for the new record were gone. So other than the songs that the co-writers had, I pretty much had to start all afresh. And uh, it was a lot of work, but it was a great process. And of those new songs, they were pretty much all written on this beautiful old 1910 Heinzmann upright piano that was given to me as a gift early last year. Each time I make an album, I like to surround the piano vocal core with something different. And this time, to, to do that, I enlisted the help of talented producer Dean Druyard. Dean hit my radar probably two records ago, and I was, uh, you know, I was starting to get into the mode of looking for uh, someone to, to produce, and I started hearing this guy's work, and then I saw him play live at a gig, and started to think maybe there could be some kind of fit here to do something. There was a dump truck just kind of, of songs just kind of rolled up and just left a big pile with them. <laughs> I think you're and then like, like, whoa, okay. <laughs> you're like, song. just send, send some songs. I'm like, well, there's about 60. <laughs> and I mean, I actually filtered some out, but I sent you a lot of songs, mm -hmm. knowing that some were better than others, but still, there were a lot that I really liked, and it was kind of the point where I was like, I don't think I'm best equipped to mm -hmm. decide. Well, and sometimes you don't know necessarily what fits together, what you're trying to yeah. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. like, okay, maybe somebody else can look at what I have here and, yeah. and see what it is I have to say at this point. I mean, it's quite a luxury, actually, when you have that many songs to choose from. Yeah. You really get to put something together that all makes sense together. There's a fair bit of reflecting and taking stock in the songs on North Star Falling. I think thematically it covers things like love and losing love and taking chances and risks. And also about just sort of stopping and stepping back and considering where you're at in your life. And I think overall there's a real gratefulness to the feeling of the lyrics. They're just really little stories I needed to tell. I think what happens is you put the songs together that you want to do and then you kind of take a look at it and we're like, okay, well, what do we have here? And to me, it was like, this is a classic songwriter of record. And this, is, this reminds me of music that made me feel warm and fuzzy when I was driving around in the backseat of my parents' car. Nice. And, uh, I kind of wanted to go back and capture that feeling for myself. I think one thing that was important is that you didn't listen to previous records that I'd made, mm -hmm. which I thought was great, because it kind of meant this was just going to go where it was going to go, without any references mm -hmm. to where they I might have been. I thought that was pretty neat. Mm -hmm. So the way this one ended up, it's probably the first time where the piano actually stepped back and played a supporting role mm -hmm. versus a lead instrument role, which it's neat that it just sort of lets everything else breathe for a while. Because if, if you write on the piano and you're probably conceiving of a lot of parts because you have at your disposal all of these all octaves. All those ADA keys. You've got, yeah, you've got the <laughs> rhythm, you've got percussion, you've got yeah. octaves. Because we were going for a bit more of a lush instrumentation, with, you know, we had to carve out some space for those instruments mm -hmm. to exist in. And choosing on certain songs, like what piano to use. Like we did some Wurlitzer, we Wurlitzer. did some upright piano, we did some grand piano that ended up on the record still. Toy piano. It was really neat how it wasn't just, okay, play your piano part on this one. It was, it was how should we approach the piano part you know, with everything else that's probably going to be going on in this arrangement. It was, it was, I think it was really well done. I think it turned out really well. North Star Falling refers to the important navigational reference point in the night sky. It's been used for hundreds and hundreds of years by people trying to find their way. And I got thinking, just as some stars do fall, what if the North Star fell? The tool that people use to find their way would all of a sudden be gone. And if it was gone, I think there's sort of two possibilities there. One is you'd either find a different tool or you'd pick a totally different path and go off just and explore somewhere somewhere new. And in either of those instances, you will probably be having some fresh, amazing new experiences. So the parallel to modern day life is that if your North Star falls, it's not the end of the world. It's kind of a chance for new possibilities and new great experiences. So in that light, I think this record has a really optimistic tone.